Criminal justice is not responsible for your PC and or game files. Always monitor your own risk. I also recommend backing up your game files before following this tutorial. Thank you and enjoy the show. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here. Today we are back with another LSPFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless the troops that fight for our freedom. God bless our veterans. And God bless Israel. Guys, let's get right into this. So today, guys, we're going to be installing ELS, better radiance, and increased environmental lighting. Now, the reason we're installing uh, ELS again is because you have to have ELS to install increased environmental lighting, okay? So let's go ahead and click the first link down there. It's going to bring you to this page right here, guys and girls. Now, I'm going to try not to get my webcam. I know my webcam is over to the right, so I'll try to keep my webcam out of the way of the INI file so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, if we go to the INI file, I don't think we have to when we do our open IV. All right, guys, so we're going to scroll down right here. This is ELS, Emergency Lighting System 105. You're going to you're gonna have to have this, guys, for this to work, okay? Go down and download the file right here, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just put it somewhere where you know how to get to it. All right, after you get that one downloaded, move on to the next one. Next is going to be Better Radiance. Now, guys, this is really going to make your lights pop. Now, for those of you that are going to ask me, yes, this will overwrite your previous radiance, but this is exactly as it says. It's a better radiance, okay? It's a better version of radiance. All right, so let's scroll down, and you want to click download this file right here. Once you get that one, go to the next one, and we are going to download and install increased environmental lighting. All right, this is done by Mint98. Mint98, thank you so much for your time and your creativity in the LSP of our community. We surely do appreciate it. All right, so scrolling down, guys, and click download this file. Again, put these somewhere where you guys know exactly how to get to them, okay? All right, so once we got all that, let's close out of this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to need our Grand Theft Auto V main directory and our Open IV. So open up your GTA V main directory, just like that. And then open up your ELS. We're going to install that first, guys, all right? Uh, double click on installation files. Double click on Grand Theft Auto 5. And then highlight every single one of these files that you see right here, guys and girls. Now, I'm not going to drop them only because I already have them. Uh, go ahead and drag and drop these into your main directory. Just like that, okay? That's all you got to do. All right. Once you're done installing those guys, make sure you go back in your main directory and click refresh. Close out of that and get rid of that shortcut, okay? Now, the next thing we're going to install is going to be our increased environmental lighting right here, okay? So open that up, and then uh, double-click on this right here. Now, there's a lot of options here to pick from, guys, but the ones that you want, the only option you want, guys, is, let me make sure here, I think it is brighter. Yeah, you want the brighter version. You want the one that says brighter, so double-click that. And this is just going to be an ELS INI file. So, so what the creator did is he took the ELS INI file, and he kind of rearranged it a little bit to where your reflections are nice and uh, and accurate and to where your lights are um, a lot brighter, okay? So what you want to do is take this ELS INI file, guys, and you just want to drag it into your main directory just like this and drop it, all right? It's going to ask you to replace it. Go ahead and replace the ELS.INI, all right? And then click Refresh in your directory, close out of this, and get rid of that shortcut, okay? So next up, we're going to be installing Better Radiance. So we can now close out of our main directory. Close out of that. And open up your Open IV. Go ahead and start your Open 4. All right. And let's pull this out just a little bit. Now let's open up our Better Radiance. Guys, also, I meant to tell you to make sure that you downloaded both of those files. Um, let me go back, and I will show you guys real quick. My mistake, guys. Let me show you, because I do want to make sure you guys are... Uh, Getting the right thing on better ratings because I do have two files. You gotta have both files. So let me go back real quick here, guys. And get it to pull up there. Nope, that's not it. There we go. Alright, there's better radiance. Let me go ahead and click on it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and download this real quick, guys, and show you. I, I I'm sorry I forgot about that part. Um so what you want to do is uh, when you click download, guys, you're going to want the bottom file that says main uh, file better radiance 2.00. You're going to want to click download on that one. When that's done downloading, come back to this page again. And the next one you want to get is the uh, better radiance taxi metro train 
bus brightness fixer. Okay, so you have to have that one, the top one, the extra, and the main file. Okay, so make sure you're getting both of those. All right. Now, once you got both of those downloaded, you know where they are. Let's go ahead and open up our better radiance. Okay. Now, this is just like installing Radiance V. It's the same exact pathway, same exact process. Double click on better radiance, guys. And then the one that you want is better radiance plus brighter day police lights. Okay, that's the one you want. So double click on that. And as you can see, it is a visual settings.dat. Now go over here to your open IV and make sure that you are in edit mode. Make sure your edit mode bar is blue. Okay. Uh, go over here to your open IV, navigate to mods, go to update, update that RPF, common and data. Okay. And then if you'll look right here, guys, right here is your visual settings dot dat, okay? Now, all you want to do is just take the visual settings dot dat in your WinRAR. You want to grab it, drag it, and drop it in your OpenIV, just like that right there, okay? That's all you got to do. All right, once you're done with that, close out of that and get rid of that shortcut. And then let's go back to our mods in our OpenIV, like that. All right, open up your Better Radiance uh, Metro Fix, your Taxi Fix, all that good stuff. And this is what you want to do. So, open up Better Radiance, double click it again, all right, and you want the fix files, guys, double click the fix files, all right, now minimize your open IV, just minimize it because you have, we have to be in this uh, area right here, okay, so minimize your open IV, and double click on Airbus, and grab this file, and drag it out to your desktop, oh, sorry, grab this file, and drag it out to your desktop, just like that, okay, and drop it, go back, do the same thing with the uh, bus, the metro bus. Drag it to your desktop just like that. All right. And then go back again. Get the metro train. Grab it. Drag it. Drop it to your desktop. Back one more time, guys. One more time. We're almost done. Double click on taxi. And you want the taxi signs too. Okay. Not the taxi details. You want the taxi signs too. Grab that one. Pull it out. To your main to your I'm sorry to your desktop and drop it just like that okay guys now that we have that let's close out of this and you can get rid of that shortcut guys all right now let's open up our open IV all right and double click you want to click on mods and then you want to go over in here guys if you do not have the time 64 e okay if you do not have that make sure you go down in the side column as you guys can see I don't have it okay so I'm gonna go down in the side column and I'm gonna click on the time 64 e.rpf right here I'm going to click copy to mods folder. You will do the same, okay? It takes just a second to copy it over. It doesn't take long. All right, so it is now copying that folder over. So we have to have this folder to go into our next part, okay? All right, after that, guys, um, let me see here real quick. I believe you want to click, um, let's see. Give me one second here, guys. One second. I should have left my, I should have left it out here so I could have got the uh, pathway for it. There we go. Let me pull that back out. All right, now let me pull that back up. One second, guys. I will get the, uh, there's the readme. All right, let me pull this over here. And I hope my webcam did not get in the way of what I was showing you guys. But I was kind of walking you through it and talking you through it, so I, I hope you guys can see that. All right, guys, so our pathway. Let me pull this down so you guys can see the pathway here, okay? I hope you guys can see that. This is going to be... Um, our pathway, our main pathway right here, ladies and gentlemen, right here that I'm highlighting. If you guys can see that, that is our main pathway. So open up your open IV. All right. And you want to go to mods, go to mods and then click on that time 64 E that we just copied over. Click that. All right. And then you want levels GTA five and then vehicles to RPF. Okay. So all the files are going to go right here in this one pathway. All right. Now, we can go ahead and close out of that, and we can close out of that and get rid of that. I can get rid of the shortcut. I can. All right. Now, what we want to do here, ladies and gentlemen, okay, what we want to do is those these files right here that we dropped to our desktop, okay, I believe there was one that wasn't able to be found. I think it might have been the Metro bus, but let's just go through and double check. All right, so what you're going to do, guys, if I can get my open IV to pull up, Geez, not that big. All right, so if you guys will look over here and look at what we're putting in, like what we're replacing. So see where it says Airbus right there, LED sign? Go over here in that pathway we just went to, guys, to the search tab. 
and just type in Airbus, okay? And you're going to want the Airbus.ytd, okay? So open that up. And you want to look. This is going to be us right here, guys, okay? This is us right here, LSIA, all right? Now, let's go ahead and click Replace. And again, guys, you want to select the Airbus, okay? Make sure you're getting the Airbus LED sign. Get that one. Double-click it, and it should go dark just like that, okay? Once you're done, save it, okay? Then go up here to your little search window you ran in OpenIV and clear that out. Now, next up is going to be Metro Bus. Now, I believe that was the one we couldn't find. So just type in Metro, just like that, all right? And, yeah, the Metro Bus, guys, don't worry about it because it, it for some reason it can't be found. I don't know why. But in this part, you want the Metro Train .ytd, okay? We're going to replace the Metro Train. So double-click double that. And then you want to go down and find the Metro Train LED sign, which is this one right here. It should be the little yellow Los Santos sign. And you want to click Replace. And you want to find the Metro Train, not the Metro Bus. Select the Metro Train. Double-click that, guys, all right? And there it is right there. You fixed it. Click Save. Once you're done, clear that Search tab again. And uh, last but not least, guys, is going to be our taxi signs. So go in here and click on taxi, okay? Now double-click the taxi.ytd. Now let me say this before we replace this, okay, guys? You want to get the taxi signs too. Before you do this, guys, okay? Before you do this, because I had to make sure of this myself. Before you replace this, if you have... The mod by rules install called no, no More Bright Taxi Lights, then you do not have to do this step. See how mine is not really bright, but it's not really dim either. It's kind of in between. Okay, so my taxi lights are not going to be bright. All right, because I have the mod by rules, No More Bright Taxi installed. Now, if you do not have that mod installed, then you need to do this step. Okay, so if you have No More, if you have No More Bright Taxi Light, don't do this. If you don't have no more bright taxi light, go ahead and do this step. And I'm going to show you how to do it, okay? The way you do it is click replace on the taxi signs too. Click replace. And I'm not going to do this step, guys, because I have the no more bright taxi light. You just want to double click the taxi signs too. And that's it, guys. Once you're done, click save. I'm going to click cancel, but you guys click save. All right. And clear that out. And that's going to be it. And then close that, click your edit mode, go to file, and click close all archives. All right, and that's going to be it. Close out of your open IV. And that's it, guys. Just uh, You can go ahead and get rid of these right here. These are just open in your recycle bin, just like that. Um, so, listen, guys, I'm not going to go into game. All you got to do is go into your game, get into a police car, a fire truck, a first responder vehicle, whatever you have, and go code three, okay? You're even going to be able to tell during the day how much brighter and how much more realistic these lights are. They're really, really going to pop, guys. I'm talking about they're really going to pop. So with that being said, guys, I love you all so much, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Guys, don't forget that I do have um, my social media in my description below. Check out my YouTube brothers and sisters as well. All their links are down there, and everything you need to know about me that you can follow me on, like my pages, subscribe to me on, is in that description, guys. Check it out till next time. God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out. See you in the next one, guys.